I text them. Neither of them will look at me. Maybe give them a little time. What did she say now? She's blocking my number. How's the night, uh? Heather has just blocked her mobile number. Do you know that Heather and Ellie barricade themselves into their bedroom when we're in the house? Could you maybe talk to them? I don't know. Please. I'm just afraid that Renee is heading for a breakdown. I would never hurt you. I know. You love me. With all my heart. Renee is a freak. I don't want to talk about her. Sorry. Mm. If you had to change your name, what would it be? My first name? Yeah. Uh, I don't know why. It's just a fun game. Uh, uh, let me think. Mine would be Taylor after Taylor Swift. She's so cool. Yeah. Well? Ah. Uh, my brain has gone blank. Okay. Okay. So, you're a header on one side. And then you write three random names on the other. Okay. You have to do it real fast. <gasps> three, two, one, go. And wait, wait, go. Mm. Uh, uh, Cassandra, Maeve, Pink. Cassandra, Maeve, yeah. and Pink. Mm -hmm. Pink. <laughs> oh, sh she's a singer. I saw her in New York. Okay, yeah. least favorite. Oh, Maeve, don't actually like it, I just panicked. Okay, next to go. Pink. Although it would have been class to have a mum called Pink. Ta-da! Your new name is Cassandra. She was one of the Trojan women. She could see into the future. Wow. Mm. When will we learn? Sorry? Humans pumping poison out into the atmosphere in cars the size of tanks. Well, there's loads of hybrids and electrics. Every time I see a petrol engine, I get an urge to throw a match in the tank. <laughs> Wouldn't that be some sight? <laughs> but, as Mick says, you can't always get what you want. So you never drove a car then? Oh, I love nothing more than the open highway, the freedom. I didn't know the planet was paying for my fun. Pass this in front of your customers' noses, will you? Dopes for soaps. Solidarity with the workers. Is Ray about? I wanted to get a selfie of the two of us with the bucket for Facebook. Uh, he's, uh... He's over having a look at Nora's car. They're a funny pair. Polar opposites. <laughs> I think he's a bit scared about him. Oh? Well, just like she doesn't take any rubies, you know what I mean? It's probably a big softy deep down. About 200 feet, yeah. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> Put this somewhere prominent, will you? I will have to ask Ola. But what if she says no? She's my boss. Sometimes you have to stick it to the man, even when the man is a woman. I'll try. Power to the paper. <laughs> hey. Hey. You're giving the place a facelift. Can you do me next? <laughs> I've stopped looking in the mirror at this stage. 
You want a few old? Try doing it Laura's class. It's called Intense Body Crusher. I'll stick to the football. <laughs> Are you still playing? No. We could do a bit of training together. Yeah, it'd be nice to kick a ball around again. Great. And Damien, look, I, I'm really sorry about yesterday. Oh, Chris, I should be apologizing to you, man. It's OK. I understand. Phoebe first. I'll be with you all the way, buddy. Thank you. Pity last night ended up a bit awkward. Don't even start. Thought we were getting on okay. Yeah. And then I remember what a scumbag you are. They're very plain how they feel. This one runs deep. An apology isn't going to fix it. I'll do anything. Maybe pull back, you know? Give things a chance to be less raw. But they're leaving for Brazil next week. They can't go back with this bad feeling between us. That's not really your call. I know what I did was wrong. But the history... I was worried about Ellie. What? You're just a fine accusing her. And what would you have done? I didn't come here for a row. I was terrified. You accused her of trying to poison her child. And what if it had been true? I'd be the hero, not the villain. And Ellie would have been left in your care. That's a terrible thing to say. I'm not saying that was your plan. I was out of my mind with worry. You were brokenhearted at losing her. Your, your judgment might have been a bit off. Look, I'm not saying you're a bad mother. That's exactly what you're saying. Renee. No. Go. Please. I can't believe I let that rat snare me in. Maybe he just didn't want to tell us in front of Phoebe. Yeah, right. That Judas talking to Chris. You had a family drink with Will. It's not a crime. It was a betrayal. Anyway, I set Will straight. What did you say to him? I told him he wasn't welcome around us or our home, but on less polite terms. This is about Phoebe as well. She's had it tough enough without us forcing her to choose between us and Will. I know. I'm sorry. It's just... Phoebe comes first. Thanks. What do you think it means? A new name. Hmm. Maybe she's looking for a new start. Cutting all links with me. That's not what I said, Ren. Who could blame her? Renee. No, I gave her away. But you didn't want to. If only I'd had a bit more spine. I think you're being very unfair on yourself, Renee. She thinks I'm a monster. What am I supposed to do? Show her respect. And with regards to this, if she wants to be called Cassandra, we'll call her Cassandra. The flight with Air France has really nice food. Mmm. And two stopovers. <laughs> Which means we get at least two extra meals and drinks. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> Sold. <laughs> Your earrings are so pretty. Dad sent them to me at Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, no. No. You stay, I'll go. Come on, mate. Oh! I don't want to upset you. Cassandra. It's a lovely name. What? Well, I know you don't want to be Heather anymore. So, myself and Bob will call you Cassandra. Ooh. Why are you doing this to me? 
You're getting it wrong. You're not changing. You're not changing my name. No. You wrote it yourself. I saw it. New name, Cassandra. It was a game. We were only messing. Tell her. I don't remember. I don't remember. It was this morning. You had other names too. Pink and Maeve. <laughs> Sorry. No. It's okay. I forget stuff too. Did did I re did I really try and hurt Ellie? No. You were sure? Maybe, maybe I did, and then I forgot. Ellie, you, you go to Renee. Go on. You have to stay away from me. You didn't hurt me. You have to get away. Get away from me. Get away from me. <sighs> Heather. <gasps> Heather. Look at me. Look at me. Take Ellie away. I... I don't want her to see me. You didn't do anything bad. <laughs> Renee got it wrong. <sighs> I... I don't think so. Look, will you... Will you look at something for me? Look, it's important. You know you can trust me. Please, Mum. <gasps> Come on, look at it. <sighs> you wanted to be Taylor after Taylor Swift. You see? No more doubting yourself, OK? Thank you. We'll go home. We'll go home. Yeah. Renee, give them a little break here. Yeah. Look, I wasn't hiding anything. I planned on asking you how we should tell Phoebe about the court date. So why didn't you? Because we were having such a good time as a family. You know, it was like old times, and I knew that as soon as I told you, all that would be over. So have you told her now? No, because I think she needs to have you there. I'm just here to work out the best way for us to let Phoebe know that the court date is set. Well, you know, they have these things called mobile phones. People use them for discussions. You see what I mean? He's buying me pints yesterday. Only to make Phoebe happy. But sure, the court date doesn't change anything. She still needs a stable family around her. You're saying this? I mean, really? Damien. No. This from a man whose idea of stable is a father who's a liar and a cheat and an abuser. No. Phoebe has a loving home here. Right, she's got her mum. And she's got a stepfather. You think a piece of paper allows you into my daughter's life? Well, go. We'll talk tomorrow. No, no, no. Well, he won't let us discuss our daughter. He refers to you and Phoebe like you're his possessions. I thought I was the controller. Mareda's right. You should leave. We need to finish this discussion. It's done. I will tell Phoebe. Don't worry, I won't hurt her by saying how I really feel. OK. Well, thank you. And if you ever speak to Damien like that again, all bets are off. Clear? Hey, Nora. Is he here? Yeah, yeah. I suppose he was saying I was an awful crank. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. Uh, the Korean is having a two-for-one special if you fancy it for dinner. Oh, great. I was having great crack with Ray. He was telling me all about his days in the picket line. Really? Oh, what about you lying across the Hipley Bridge? <laughs> See, my M.O. was to lie there as stiff as a plank 
and defy them to move me. <laughs> Great practice while snoring on the couch, what? <laughs> My classic was handcuffing myself to buildings. But you still have them? I do. If Orla kicks up about the collection box, we can handcuff ourselves to one of the cars. Yeah. The Merc, let's go big. I like your style. <laughs> Wayne. Jelly babies are my favourite, too. They're for my mum. Aren't you the wonderful daughter? <laughs> I was supposed to be off half an hour ago. Sorry, I had a bit of, bit of a situation. Everything OK? Uh, fine. <sighs> you look worn out. I came in here to get away from it all for a bit. Well, I'm free. I got to take you for a nice glass of wine. Thank you. Are you okay? Well, I got the date of his trial. Oh. <gasps> oh, Mother of Divine! What is it now? We have mice. Where? In the chill cabinet. Oh. There's two. No, three of them. Oh, but get them out! Relax, they're brown bread. Look, lock the door. If a customer sees this, we'll be shut down. Oh, disgusting. It's odd all three of them dying at the same time. Maybe they did death pact. Do you think Nora has money worries? What? Yeah, well, she's grumpy, you know. That means she's usually fretting of something. She also cancelled the Korean dinner. And we usually go Dutch. She mustn't have any shillings. It's not that. I'll be the real with Carol. Are you really that thick? Well, you want to tell me something? She's jealous, bro. Of what? You! Getting all the attention from Alwyn. Oh, really, it'll be ridiculous. I mean, that's all about the cause. Yeah, maybe for you. Wait, you're saying that, like, you know, Alwyn might, well, fancy me? Ray, she wanted you to be handcuffed to America. So, do you think she was giving a hint for, you know, how was your father? Well, back seat of the car is the classic spot for hooking up. Oh, so we here. Well, she's a good looking woman. No way, Ray. <laughs> no, I'm not playing Casanova. I'm just saying there, it's flattering to know that eh, you still have it. Yeah, well, it's going to get you a belt from Nora. <laughs> a bit of competition among the women, huh? I ah, know that's just disrespectful. <laughs> nah, I'm only joking. <laughs> still, uh, handcuffs, huh? I don't understand it. I am fanatical about hygiene rules. They were in the chill cabinet. <sighs> perfect end to a perfect day. And I was the one thinking that Heather might want to change her name. Yes, but I should have asked her, not just come out with it. Poor girl thought she was losing her mind. Maybe they should stay with Huey. At least they won't have to hide away in their rooms. Me and Mum were talking, and I told her how much you loved me, and that you made a mistake, and you're sorry. I am, sweetheart. She's going to get really sick if we keep on fighting. So can we just stop and be kind again? I'd love that. That's what Mum said. I'll go and tell her everything's all right. Thank you. You couldn't let me be happy, you know? Find yourself another table. You saw me having one tiny bit of joy and you had to stamp all over it. Running to Damien, snitching about the court date. We are not having a conversation. You know, that'd be funny if it wasn't so sad. Little girl like you trying to act like a man. That doesn't work anymore. You're a pathetic, screwed up bully. We both know that. And after the trial, so will everyone else. Well, that's a nice little fairy tale you've made up for yourself. You committed a crime. <laughs> no, alleged crime. How long ago? About a year and a half. Do you think people remember? It's just the bitchings of a bitter little queen. Right? Kind of burst into tears if he even breaks a finger now. I'm a hero. I saved lives. I risked my life working on the front line. That's what people remember. 
The world has changed since you betrayed me. That's right. Domestic violence has gone off the scale. It's in the papers every day. The Garda have started a new protocol. I'm not one voice anymore. It's not just me accusing you. It's hundreds of abused people. No jury is going to let you walk free. This truck could really tip her over the edge. What am I supposed to do? Change your story. You know, you're making the same mistake as she did. Putting two and two together and coming up with a, a conspiracy theory. What if I'm right, though? Then the kid got her very justifiable anger out of her system. Would you like to come for dinner? With you? Bella and Cass are out tonight. I can cook. I am actually sitting here. I will tell the jury what I saw. Okay, and are you 100% sure that you got it right? Yeah.